we the Democratic women have joined together to say, let's give the American women a raise so they can raise their families. American women need a raise so they can raise their families because right now, if you earn the minimum wage, a full-time job means full-time poverty. The current minimum wage of $7.25 an hour that hasn't been raised in years means that if you work a 40-hour week, you make $14,500. That's $4,000 less. $4,000 less than the poverty line for a family of three. That would be a mother and two children. What is it in this country that a full-time job means full-time poverty? For many of the women making the minimum wage, they actually work two jobs to hold body, soul, and that family together. They'll work the day shift in order to make one wage, and then they often moonlight with a part-time job at night to be able to make up even a difference to barely make ends meet. We are calling for the raise of the minimum wage. We support the Harkin Bill, of which we're all co-sponsors, to over a three-year period to raise the minimum wage from $7.25 to $10.10. Now, this will be good for families, but it'll also be good for the economy. If you're having money at this income level, you're spending every nickel that you can on the necessities of life. Food, clothing, shelter. The money goes right back into the economy. These aren't women who have IRAs or MRAs or whatever. They, they're not, they're looking for the ERA, which is equal <laughs> rights and equal pay for equal work. So we want to make sure that they have a fighting chance to be able to raise their families. The minimum wage is at a historic all-time low, low. Right now, it pays only 30% of the buying power for a family of three. And while we're calling for the minimum wage, we also want to finish the job we started with Lily Ledbetter. Lily Ledbetter was about equal pay for equal work. We passed that legislation. Now we want to pass Paycheck Fairness to remove the impediments to getting equal pay for equal work. So we will be moving a legislative agenda this year to make sure that American women get a raise where a full-time job means that you have full-time opportunity for your family and you get equal pay for equal work without being penalized when you speak up for what you should deserve.